Okay, let's do this thing. Hey everybody, greetings, welcome back. It is me, Vormatrax, here to play some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Uh, let's jump back into our The Dude Abides world to see what uh, Scalawag is up to. <clears throat> I think we had just returned and we're doing some, what, book reading while we healed up from some misadventures. Always good to have misadventures. Verifying items. Oh, I forgot to update. I think I updated yesterday. <laughs> We're up to date as of yesterday. Okay, there we go. Scalawag. Yeah, we still got a little damage. A little bit. What time is it? 4.30. <clears throat> All right. Um... Ah, remember we were pushing our way across the map. We found a bunch of people. Might go up and see what's going on up there. Might not. Otherwise, yeah, we're just uh, kind of pushing through the town, looking for specialized basements, doing some research, doing some reading, getting our skills up. Still haven't made it to three melee. Maybe I'll turn bashing off. For a little bit. <clears throat> Can't remember. Do we have... Hmm. It's all mostly unarmed. We don't have enhanced blocking till five. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I had block where'd my where'd my block skill go or my unarmed combat skill go hey unarmed combat skill uh, I have unarmed combat skill one is that theoretical practical level zero 99 percent <laughs> I gotta love that hey they actually tell you the learning bonus all right all right, so that's what's going on. We we have lost a little tiny bit. All right, I understand. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it's almost all unarmed combat based. Melee three gets us to faint, and after that, it's melee five and six. Okay. So yeah, I might turn off. What the hell? That's weird. Every time I come out of that menu, I have to hit it. I have to hit like this key. Five or six times to get it to come up. It's really weird. Huh. All right. Well, however. So, yeah. Uh, maybe maybe I'll turn off bashing skill just so we can uh, put a little more focus into melee. Yeah, let's let's turn uh, turn those turn those two off. We'll keep the focus on uh, trying to raise melee till we hit three. And then I'll turn them back on again. What this does is it prevents us, or it prevents the skill from gaining XP, so it will not drain my focus to promote those while we're in combat, and all of the available focus will go into the melee skill instead. So, we'll just do that for a little bit. Okay. What else are we doing? Uh, I think gear-wise, we're, we're still rolling with the same stuff. Getting a little bulky. Seventeen on the torso currently. All right. Um, let's go back to reading. I think that's what we were doing. I was working on getting a mechanic skill up. 
while we pass time waiting for our health, and then we'll go out on a uh, another into town adventure. So we're up to five, fourteen percent. Uh, activate <clears throat> harmonica. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, time passage is slow. Wow, this is going to take yet another full day. I thought we were going to be finished today. We are absolutely not going to be finished today. <laughs> it's already eight hours. We're not even 50% yet. One of the unfortunate things I think about the game, once you kind of know how to get along, you end up spending a lot of time like this, just sitting here waiting for time to pass, reading books, practicing proficiencies, and so on. It's not particularly engaging content. It's it's an actual real-world time waste. <clears throat> Especially as the game appears to be processing slower and slower. All right, yeah, I got to go get some clean water here pretty quick. Full health. <laughs> you do a lot of that stuff during the winter. Well, see, I don't have that uh, that capability because my challenges are all long done before I ever get to winter. <laughs> I haven't had a challenge go into winter in... I don't know if I've ever had a challenge actually make it into winter. <laughs> I just, I got nothing left to do by the middle of summer, usually, much less fall and then winter. Unless I start a challenge during the winter time. I absolutely have not ever had a challenge go long enough to be into winter. So that's not something I can do. All right, we are healed. Sleep the day away, and I guess we'll go out on a little bit of adventuring. This is another one of those traits that uh, make me press keys. <laughs> I hate traits that make me just press keys. That's their, their primary function is to make me press keys. Oh. Lab reading is fun. Yeah. It's possible we're sitting on top of an area with some stuff below us. I, I don't know for sure. <clears throat> we could have subways and maybe a subway lab in the reality bubble. The Mego Tower start? Yeah. That's one of the few I can remember. I just don't find winter... I mean, it, I just don't find it all that interesting. It, it, technically, it's harder, but not really. <laughs> I mean, unless you start naked in the middle of a field, and then it's just the first few minutes is dangerous and hard, and you either sort that out or you don't, and then after that, it's, eh, who cares? All right, um, get some some bacon, some cheese, a bunch of butter, a couple of water. Let's get the water sorted real quick. Do I have any empty gallon jugs? I do. Grab some empty gallon jugs. Let's hit up the, I forget how much water we had in the basement here. We might need to hit a few neighbor basements. Bottom corner, bottom corner. Who's got a basement? I forget. You got a basement? 
You got a basement? You got a basement. Okay, still got nine. Can't get sufficient leverage, so the claw bar doesn't have enough, huh? Could torch it. I doubt there's anything in there I care about, but... Who knows? Maybe we'll drag a torch over. Neighborhood's pretty clear, though. <laughs> and staying that way. Even with wandering hordes on. Alright, leave the book. Leave the water. Leave the harmonica. We're good otherwise. Hey there, Fertile Creek. Um, let's just keep using this vehicle. Mm, okay. Actually, I think I've been going out in the Humvee for protection. Uh, I forget what road we were traveling down. Kind of, kind of backed off because we had like a smoke zombie down here, I think, and we started to go back north, and we were going across. I think I was going through here last time, pushing towards the fire station. Use the junker or use the Humvee. Let's use the Humvee. Just, just safer. Found your old CDA 0.E-2. <laughs> that the uh, stable? Sounds like stable. Keep going down this road. Okay. So, ooh, wasp house. That's right. Mama's out. That means I can't go near that. Another talking doll. Another harmonica. A lot of corpses are going to be getting up and then getting back down again. Oh, I forgot to test out the uh, night vision goggles. Remind me when we get back to base, before I go to bed, to uh, whip out the night vision goggles. Make sure I understand how and if they work, if it's different from what I remember. I think they changed it. Is it no longer green? I thought I remember reading it's no longer got the green effect. All right, so, yeah, I don't want to go anywhere near that. We're going to have to divert back south a bit <clears throat> or just drive right past. I don't want to get into a fight anywhere near this thing, though. Well, here comes Mama after that zombie. Uh-oh. A lot of people getting angry. <laughs> hey there. Wow, that is a lot of angry people out there. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Steel frames on the ground. Hundred and fifty six scrap metal, thirty four lumps of mild steel, and a lot of good stuff. So many corpses to pulp. I can't do it. It's too dangerous. Just need to lead all these NPCs over here to fight Queen Bee. So, yeah. Hostile ignoring. Hostile attacking to kill. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't laugh. A lot of them got guns. How are they seeing me so far away and being all hostile? I guess they're hostile and getting going to kill something else. <clears throat> they're not moving. Can't get past that truck without going through the light post, so that cuts my my options a bit. I got a long block to go down before I can turn. Yeah, I forget which which if it's the air filter or what it was with the vehicle. I'm not too worried about it. I'd have to get the part. I have to go find a motor on the ground somewhere and I don't know if I think I have to have lift capability to disassemble it. I can't remember if I can disassemble it on the ground or not. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I'm worried about pushing forward because I don't want to attract the attention of the NPC squad above me by surprise or the wasps. I don't like having that kind of stuff behind me. got a few guys in front of me hmm. stop here I got one two three possibly four five Oof. you zombies up there I think I might just try to push forward and see if I can make the corner on the block here. Oh, that is so many dogs. <laughs> so many doggies. They're going after the panicked persons currently, which is giving me the clean area. Um, so fire department still just right here. It's way too many things for me to deal with currently. Need to keep doing clearance. So yeah, I'm gonna curve down, try to wend my way through, and then come back over this way. See if we can get a clear point where I can then start just kind of working my way forward again. Need to get out of here before I attract all of these guys towards me. Let them finish chasing down the um, people. Let's 
So, there's the garage I don't like. Only thing in it is through this one little door right here, and it's just some crates usually. Might have some welding gear. Oops, don't hit the light. I think this is good right here. I'll fight what's coming at me. Hey, look, an engine on the ground I can try to take apart. Yeah, skate park. I remember the skate park, so I think this was where we last finished up. Uh-oh. Got red blops out ahead of me. Yuck. <laughs> Stop it. Took like seven tries to get the uh, vehicle going that time. Alright, I gotta deal with these guys. Come to me, zombies. Whoops. Oh, come on now. Skull zombie? Ah, uh, skull zombie. Got all that damage already. Now I'm out of position, too. Finally. What you guys doing? <laughs> they lost track of me already. God, that is so weird. That still just freaks me out when they lose me like that. I'm just standing here in the shadows. Get sad again. <laughs> Chapsticks, gun, gun. This one. Okay, a few bandages, and we're off. Actually need to fight them in that house. That's the best cover point. There's smoke down below them though. Um, or I keep backing up and fight back at that vehicle. 
That'll add, what, one, two... Good old swimmer, zombie. Swimmer zombies are pretty quick. How many? One, two to the west. One, two, three, four, five, six to the southeast. That's more than I wanted at once. Uh, maybe I'll move north up into that building. Use the fence to our advantage. Don't have time to wait for that. Well, they're just going to hang out. Tram it all. Don't mind if I do. Uh-oh, somebody's in here with me. Oops, that's sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. You're so dumb. Blob? Hmm, that's not good news. That means there's probably uh, one of the interdimensional sites here somewhere near, and there could be a Mego in the area. Hmm. So when you're driving, you turn the vehicle on. Once it's running, when you tap the up or eight key on your numeric keypad, what you're doing is you're setting the speed you want it to go at. So each time you tap it, you're incrementing up to another number. And then you press the five key to actually have time pass and the vehicle will start to accelerate up to whatever number you've set. So you could tap it 15, 20 times and it'll show, when I'm in a vehicle, it'll show your speed setting. And it'll show what speed it's going to try to get to. Um, so you want to just tap it once. So you're going for like four kilometers, miles per hour, whatever. And then you use the uh, four and five, six key to turn left and right at that slow speed. <clears throat> but be very careful not to tap that up key a bunch of times. Because all you're doing is setting it for uh, uh, what speed you want it to eventually get to. <clears throat> 
and how quickly it gets to that speed depends on vehicle statistics, engine power and weight and so on. I have a ve- I have a, a video on my YouTube channel <laughs> going over vehicles, demonstrating how they work and all that. Best thing when you're trying to figure out vehicles in Cataclysm, because they are kind of weird until you get used to them. Create a test world, go into your test world, and then use the debug menu just to summon up any vehicle you want. Hop in and go for a test drive. <clears throat> that way you can just experiment all you want, summoning vehicles and wrecking them and summoning them and wrecking them and learning how it works. Where did you come from, little buddy? Barbecue sauce. Basement, huh? Where did the... There was an acidic zombie in the area I have lost track of. the hell zombie <laughs> i'm sitting here passing time like 10 times and it's not moving more trap it all okay no basement area's clear again little rucksack Acidic zombie. Right. Whoa, whoa. He's trying to dig through my vehicle. Not cool. Not cool, acidic zombie. I want the... Wow. 43 seconds is the quickest now? Uh... <laughs> That's a long time. I don't remember it taking that long. I don't want to... Yeah, wow. Huh. Fine. <clears throat> Go, uh... See if it'll let me butcher this. I didn't bring my tools. So I can't test it. It gave me the option, but it's telling me I don't have the tools. Which kind is it? Yeah, 2.8 liter V6. It's a bit more than I need. But let's make a note that it's here. So yeah, when I fire this up <clears throat> right here, you have a speed indicator. If I tap my eight key, you'll just see the number going up and I can set it to whatever number I want. So you, you set your speed that you would like to get moving up to and then you press the five key and it'll actually start moving. Each time you press it, time will increment. And then you can just adjust your speed as you need once you get experience and practice picking whatever speed you want to go at and then you use the keys to turn left and right but keep it at four keep it at four and just press your five key and you'll start to move and then you can turn hey there smoker zombie um yeah let's uh speed up and we'll slow down let's 
spin this thing around and we'll speed up again i don't think i'll go fast enough unfortunately to kill this guy nope we got him and we'll slow down again gotta get out of the smoke Oop, i am cramped 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 not cramped That's how vehicles work. <clears throat> yeah, you can use other keys, but, you know, numpad is the best. You can actually change it so it doesn't work exactly that way. <laughs> As with most things in the game, it's it's variable depending on things. Air filter. So yeah, we need to find or deconstruct a vehicle for an air filter. Rather not drive over that thing. Okay, flaming eye. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> hey there, interdimensional thing. <laughs> Do we have a rift? Are they coming out of a rift? Or is this just a body sight? Holy crap, we got a flaming eye in the middle of town. Right in my path that I want to try to take. Well, that's a wee bit rude. I'd like to get a bunch of zombies to kill it. Have we been zapped yet? Not yet. Have these things changed in what they do? Oh, I think he's I think he's paying attention to that zombie in the house right above him. I played Quasimorph for Stone Shard. Quasimorph, yes. Stone Shard, no. It's kind of waiting for Stone Shard to get a little further on in development. <clears throat> Quasimorph's on my list to revisit here pretty soon. That's gone through some pretty major changes. So we'll, we'll drop back in and take a look at it here. I also got to get back to um, the other game. <laughs> It'll occur to me a little bit when I'm not thinking about it. Hey there, big pile of zombies. Man, if that stupid eye wasn't right there. I don't know. I stopped cheaping track of Stone Shard. Did they finally go full release? I'm tempted to stop and hop out, kill these two zombies to the south of me, and try to get into the garage. Really don't want to deal with this... Uh, Flaming eye. I go too much, too much more forward. I'll attract the attention of this crowd. Come on, zombies. up with flaming eyes now 
Used to be, they would tag me. Regardless of what else was around, I'd get hit by their their gaze effects constantly, just being in range. Now they seem to, as long as there's anything else nearby, I don't think I've been hit yet by an effect from them. And uh, if that's the case, just staying in the uh, reality bubble range will get that thing killed by just a couple of zombies. I really need this whole crowd here. But we're stringing the, the group out there, so I'll keep pulling them back. Slowly, just to make sure that flaming eye gets killed. He's still not taking much damage. As these guys come forward, they'll they'll curve up and go after the flaming eye when I'm further away than the eye is. So let's stop here for a second. Yep, there they go. <laughs> That's a bit of a crowd. Oops. Well, that's not intended. Uh, oh, I gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, this could be a little sticky. Please don't grab me on the way by. That is way too many zombies at once. <laughs> way too many. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, it started on the first try. Lucky me. That's a lot of zombies to deal with. Hmm. It's about the number I would like to set a fire. Um, 19 focus. Melee 66. Hmm. Activity ex Whoa! I didn't see the dog down there. I was looking at other parts of the screen. Didn't know I got snuck up on. Bad dog. Okay. Runner, runner. They'll get ahead of the tough and the standard zombie. Are they wounded? No. And another dog coming in behind me. Damn it. You're ruining my fighting positions. Ooh, Z9 is full strength. All right, damn it. Ruined my opportunity. <laughs> Stupid dogs. Backing up and backing up and backing up. Still four of them coming after me. That's what I did not need. Oh crap. We could be dead. Oh boy. 
Ouch. <clears throat> Yeah, just that quick. Time to go home. I was soon the tough grabbed me. I wasn't watching the messages. Just lucky we got out of that with our stats down to four. <clears throat> it's a miracle we broke the uh, the grab after that. We damaged our bat again. All right. Um, fixed our bleed. That was unfortunate. <clears throat> Good old tramadol. <laughs> Disinfected, great, to very good, no improvement. <laughs> Whatever, it's all fine. <clears throat> All right, back to reading. You can't really do an underground only run. You'll starve to death. There's no food down there. Among many other problems. <laughs> you just can't do it. Not fleshed out enough. Unless you're in like a TCL, but then you're just going to die of real world boredom because every time you try to sleep, read, or craft, you're going to say craft, and then you're going to go ahead and go and take a real world nap and come back. And you'll have about 5% progress <clears throat> after your nap is complete. Just not viable. I've tried to do underground base runs in the city where I would like set up in the subway and stuff. But I, ran, I kept running into weird problems where <clears throat> I would clear a vast area around my little spot. I would go down the stairs to my underground subway base, try to sleep, read craft, and then instantly I'd have zombies coming down the stairs. And then I'd clear them, and I'd go up top, and there'd be nobody. And I'd go downstairs, and I'd try to sleep, read, craft. Instantly, zombies are down the stairs. And it was just kept happening and happening and happening and happening and happening. <laughs> I don't know what it was going on. It was really annoying. <clears throat> so. Yeah, plus they're hella dangerous. I mean, I don't know what their condition is now, but they've been going through for the last, well, the last year or two that I had played. The subways and stuff were just ridiculously stupid, dangerous. Not dangerous in a challenging way, dangerous in a you're instantly dead way. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of limitations there. 
It was what, uh, what was the name? Unseen Hunters? I mean, the Migo Scouts, of course, and Migos, but there was also like Unseen Hunters and Shoggoths and just, just all sorts of ridiculous stuff down there. All right, satisfied, hydrated. Mm. I'm going through some medical supplies at a fairly quick rate. You've got to be a little cautious. One six bandages. I think I got plenty of antiseptic. Yeah. Okay. Nineteen forty-two. Sun's going down. Not tired quite yet. Eighty-two percent. Now we're tired. Fall asleep easier while I'm actively playing my harmonica. You're up and your little pains from before seem to have faded away rather quickly. All right, we're all healed up. Let's go back outside. Uh, we'll do a little bit of reading and then we'll head out. <clears throat> Ninety percent. Well, yeah, I gotta fix, gotta fix Boinky Ouchie too. Fix my pickaxe, can I? Nah, no reason. Oh, my cargo pants got hit again. Materials available, none. <clears throat> Whoops. <laughs> oh, butter went rotten while I was eating, I think. I'm not sure if I got any of that in me. Right, we'll have some more when we're out and about. Turgid and satisfied. Oops, I forgot to check the, uh, test the night vision again. I keep forgetting. I 
Um, I mean, the YouTube stuff I put up. So, <clears throat> when I first started doing the tutorial stuff, my goal was to create a tutorial series or a couple of series that people could search easily to find their specific answer. So, I tried to keep them pretty specific and easily searchable. So, I have a huge Cataclysm University series and a bunch of other series, but I tried to keep them searchable because when I was trying to learn, there were no resources available, period, which is why I started this whole thing. Um, and to learn how to do one particular thing, I would have to go watch somebody actually play the game for hours and hours and hours, hoping they did the one thing I needed to get information on. So ideally you play and you learn on your own. And if you get totally stuck on something or you really want to know the details and the game just won't tell you how it works, you could go to the series, type in the keyword and it would show you a specific video on that particular thing. Um, so that was the hope. That, that was what I was trying to do. It was mostly successful. There's just, the game is so big. There's so many topics. It's ridiculous. Plus it changes constantly. So some of the videos are still current. Some aren't. You just got to kind of take the information and uh, presume, <laughs> hope it's still valid. But if not, usually you at least get an idea of what the idea behind it is. And you can adjust to whatever the current circumstances are. So, yeah, I mean, discovery and uh, learning things is part of the fun. Lots of swarming amalgamations and some survivor zombies. Man, I got these guys. I got guys pulled from all over the place. I got to now re-clean. Come to me, zombies. Oh, that knockback is such a, such a beautiful thing. Let's grab some of these. Maybe I'll just get a 60 liter of water and water purify it. I scattered zombies all over the damn place in that last run. <laughs> hey, zombie behind me. That's... Pretty well, considering. Seven items. Kevlar harness. Hey there, firefighter zombie. Bring me goodies, fire axe. Nope. Perfect condition entry suit, huh? BBA mask, ooh, with charges. Hmm. 
Not sure I'll be able to fix that, but... 100% coverage. All body parts except for the face, which is what the mask is for. Only problem, of course, is the uh, ridiculous encumbrance. Hmm. Let's, uh, we'll grab that and throw it in the vehicle. Damn it, why'd you have to come now, runner? Ditch the backpack. Get rid of subway lab terminals? Not that I'm aware of. Wanted to shoot the boomer. Eh. <laughs> it's annoying. Boomer keeps getting out in front of the other guy. Part of my mess cleaned up at least. What are we at? 74% on melee. Man, it's going a lot slower than I thought it would. Taking forever. Gotta remember bringing the tools with me next time I get an opportunity. Guess I haven't checked this place completely yet. 